Hello and welcome to the Overtime Edition of Gloves. I'm Moses Wolde and I'm pleased to be joined by these two fine gentlemen, Andrew Brethauer, to my left and to my right, the Marketing Manager for the Lloyd Mr. Bobcats, Malcolm Radke. How's it going? Good, yes. Thanks for having me, guys. Excellent. We're going to keep this thing rolling and we'll start off with baseball. Alex Rodriguez, back in spring training after suspended it for a year. He obviously owes money to the Yankees. <laughs> they don't like him. But he's still there, and apparently hit six home runs uh, during his uh, at bat during spring training. So, good sign. I don't know. How do you think this relationship will end in the long run in 2015? Uh, I mean, I, it, it seems like he's just there to play baseball, and he's maybe done with all the attention and and just wants to enjoy the game. So hopefully, it's a quiet year for him. He's obviously still got the athletic ability to put up some numbers, and you know, just just hopefully go away quietly. He'll, have, he'll go away quietly and gets injured. That's usually what happens with A-Rod right now. It's just, as soon as an injury comes, he'll be gone, and then the storyline ends. Yeah. I, he's Like I said, in the Worth Association, he's getting old, and he's getting to that point where I think it's the Yankees need to start thinking about moving on because you got to think of beyond A-Rod and what else you can bring to the team. And So I'm, it's going to play out for a bit. It's also a distraction for them because it's going to be there coming back, So and play off, a player of his stature as well. So I think it's not going to be too great for A-Rod. I think it'll might get through this year. Not probably. First sign of adversity, he'll just pull a shoot, hey? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens, especially with the new Major League Baseball rules, trying to speed up the game. So the time that pitchers can actually come out and warm up, uh, the time they get to the mound, even batters not allowed to leave a foot out of the batter's box. And if they do, they could potentially receive a fine. 500 bucks, which is like a cup of coffee to us, if you want to translate the dollars <laughs> yeah, and cents right, of the whole yeah. thing. Uh, but with that said, do you think this will speed up the game, the certain little nuances? It's probably, the time has probably come to do that sort of thing where it's, they're done with the old school, old boys kind of game where you take your time and slough around. Like I'm sure with TV schedules these days, they got to tighten things up. So it's probably just, just the way things are headed. It's, it's not a real big surprise or anything. It's going to be a bigger change. They have to change the culture and everyone going through the routine. Yeah, and doing exactly. That. Like, like I don't watch a lot of baseball because of that reason. I can't sit there so in the slow. summertime for four hours a day to dedicate myself to a baseball game if you could knock those down to two and a half three hours which i know is huge a lot of time but it, that's what's going to make me come into baseball and i'm a sports editor so and i don't watch that much baseball I, i'd rather go watch our local kids play and play an hour and a half two hour game really good baseball than sit there and watch four hours of a major yeah. baseball game catch the highlights guy no. scratching himself in the whole process too yeah that's always lovely all right how about this chris bosch out for the season. You have Kevin Durant out for some significant time. Of course, uh, with uh, Bosch, that's got to hurt the heat because they don't they lose him. As for Kevin Durant being gone, that might might not hurt them. Which is a bigger loss for each team? Durant is the biggest loss. That's the, really I think Durant is by far because he's the the star of the team. He's the, he is that team. Whereas Bosch, even team. over Michael Westbrook. Like, he's, there's still weapons there, right? There's still, there's still weapons in Miami. I think Durant brings more than what Bosch will bring. And so Durant's going to be the guy that you, if I'm, you want a one player, if you to pick one player, I, I'm going to pick Durant to play on my team over Bosch. So I'll take Durant's going to be the biggest, especially with his, the opponents they have in the playoffs. Like, they are the eighth seed right now, so they have to go the whole way up. I'll take Durant as the guy who mostly missed. Do you guys want me to be the third vote to split it up? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really like Chris Bosch, but I, th I think he'll, uh, they will suffer from not having him because he's just kind of that unsung hero on that team that does his thing. Um, Kevin Durant, you know, no question, he's a stud. He's kind of the next Tim Duncan, one of those guys that just never misses. But Chris Bosch, I think he nailed it. He'll be, uh, he'll be missed more, which is what the question was. Adrian Peterson potentially could say bye-bye to the Minnesota Vikings. The relationship has soured so much so that you even had Peterson's agent fighting with some of the people working with the Vikings. So with that said, he's going to be gone from Minnesota. Where does he land, and can he have a successful 2015 campaign? He can if Kenny stays clean out of everything. Um, it's weird to think that P Adrian Peterson got away a lot easier than Ray Rice did. So I think that's he'll land somewhere because he got off scot-free thanks to Ray Rice. If it wasn't for him, he wouldn't be playing at all. Um, I don't know where he lands. I don't know who needs a running back right now or you know, a dual system or anything like that. But I think he'll probably end up by somewhere because of the caliber of player he is. Exactly. But it's going to be a short leash. Yeah, people have some teams will be in a position where they have to take a risk on him. Uh, if I'm Adrian Peterson, I probably want to go somewhere where 
I'm, I'm one of many weapons. I'm not leaned on as much, and the spotlight hopefully isn't on me as much. But, I mean, maybe he's the type of guy that doesn't mind that attention either. It's just too bad that they it, it kind of went out the way it did with, with them just squabbling at each other as opposed to it being a firm, you know, send off because you did this, not just because they don't like each other in the end, really. So it's it's it was mishandled, and, and I know he'll end up back in the NFL just because he's too good not to, and teams are desperate. And what I liked about your last comment, too, He's a guy that, you know, felt disrespected, went to a team, or Minnesota, that he was leaned on a lot, goes to a team somewhere else where he becomes a part. Exactly. Easier on the body, and this guy missed a year, so he's a little fresher than some of the running backs now. Speaking of uh, fresh and uh, fantastic, you guys were awesome, <laughs> on point, loved it. Appreciate it as always, Andrew. Thanks a lot. And Malcolm, you're, uh, I, I love your wit and appreciate you <laughs> that on the show, my friend. Good hanging out with you guys. Thanks yeah, for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us on the show too as well. We do have our actual show that's on 7.30 CITL every Tuesday night. Plus our little Facebook little rant where we like to just goof off in general. In the meantime, we will see you in seven days and enjoy the week.